We've dragged onto a nice carp just after just on an after school sesh, literally. We're coming home and dad's like, oh, do you want to go down to the Torrenstad? And as if I'm going to say no, so yeah. Doesn't look like a, well, it could be not a bad fish, but just an average size carp. But we've been getting a few bites. Both my rods just went off. That it probably explains why it's on the ground. But yeah, nice fish, dad. It's all right, keep the, keep the tension on it and you won't lose him. That's what I've been taught, so. Yeah, he's definitely moving, that's for sure. Doesn't look like a bad fish. Rod, bend in that rod. Just gotta watch the other rods just in case they go off, you know, cause. Yeah, but good fish, Dan. That's it. Look at that real. Yeah, not a bad size. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a good size one actually. There he is. Oh. He's still got a lot in him. So when you're ready, I'll just come down and pick him up. A lot of in this one. Yeah, I know. And oh, he's a good size one. People do say that carper. Oh, I can't get him. Try and get him. Oh, look at that for a fish. Well done, Dad. That is a solid carp. Beautiful. <laughs> He's engulfed that hook. But he literally, we've been here for maybe, what, 45 minutes? Half an hour? And they've just started to bite, so there is a solid carp. He may be going, what, 50, 45, 50 centimetres? But maybe about three, two kilo, maybe. But yeah. Good fish. So, yeah, nice. Good carp, good carp. Just as we hook that one, we'll get that one out the way, Dad. Good fish, good fish. Just go under, yep. Don't wanna, don't wanna lose that tension. So yeah, literally just, we're about to get a few snaps of that fish and this rod just buckled out, so. Yeah, I think it'll be just about the same size or even bigger, cause yeah, but oh, he's got a few head shakes now. But let's give you a look. Look at that for a carp. That's, that's a good fish. And that's a donor, two and a half thousand. So literally, we've just arrived here 40, 45 minutes. And we just, I just got home from school, believe it or not, and dad's in the car. Do you want to go for a fish, Tom? So yeah, here we are now, I'm catching carp. So yeah. After the rain, yeah, so we've just had a, if you've been up to date with the weather, we've just had a big rain. If you want to move that one, Dad. We've just, mm, yeah, we've just had a huge rain and it seems to turn them on, as Dad said, so. Yeah, I'm just going to slowly fight this fish in. Oh, oh, he's still got a few head shakes on him. Just got to keep that rod tip high. Yeah, he's got a bit of stick in him, this one. It's not giving up this fish here, but oh, there you go. It's... Don't let them turn in here. That's one thing I've noticed about carp. Once you've got their head up, keep their head up. Cause they'll snap you. Just an easy fight. Just play, play how he wants to go. So if he wants to move, I'll move. So yeah, nice fish. It's a strong fish too. Definitely putting a good bend in that rod. Oh, there he goes. Got a few tail kicks. He's coming back up. Just about to surface now. Oh, he's a good fish. Keep that rod tip high. There he goes. Oh, he's, he's a nice fish. That, don't want him to go back into those reeds because that's when you tend to lose him. Tries to snag you. But, yeah, he's still got a lot of sticking in this fish here. Yeah? Decent carp, that's for sure. Just ease him away. Tighten up the drag if you need just to get him in and then can easily let it loose. 
slowly to keep him up. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, he's not giving up this fish yet, but this is the part when people tend to lose these fish, just as they're bringing them up on the bank and even when they're lifting them in. So this is when you want to be real careful, set your drag light and if he wants to run, let him run. So yeah, he's a definitely a strong fish. Look at that, look at that reel. Oh, it's a nice fish. Just getting that tail kicking, just as he hits the surface. Keep that rod nice and high. I'll let him do what he wants to do. So. It's a really nice fish, actually. Real good fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. So you just got to keep that head high. Oh, there he goes, keep that head high. Don't let him duck back down on you. Oh, I'm going to just get down. On the belly. On the belly. That's all right. Oh. oh, that is a, gee, that is a heavy fish. Whew. Gave me a good fight too, isn't that? Wow, he'll go maybe about five, Six, seven, seven pounds. Good fish, so yeah, he's got he's got some beautiful colours in his tail too, so yeah, he's getting a few snaps of him, but yeah. And you can see that those shoulders, beautiful, very heavy fish too, you know, so yeah, good fish. So these are the two carp we've caught today, so it's been about 45 minutes and this one here, so this is the biggest one of the day. About, it's pretty fat, I maybe estimate it six, seven, seven pounds, maybe about 50 centimeters. But and this is a smaller one that dad hooked, so he would maybe go 40, but they're still good fish. They're those birds you can probably hear in the background, but yeah, got beautiful colors on those tail and that tail too. So, yeah, nice fish. Here you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Katana's about to go. See the line, just go dead. Yeah. Right. Got him. Well done. Oh, look at that. This one ain't stopping. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. I'll get this one out the way, Tom. All good. This one, oh, it doesn't look that big. No, no. Oh, oh, he's got a bit of weight now. Oh, that's a good fish. No, no. Yeah, it is a good fish. Good fish. Oh, he's got a lot of stick to him too. Oh, of course, definitely. Oh, oh, gee, that one just came straight to me. Yeah, this one doesn't look as big, but still third fish, and these days, carp aren't. He's still giving me a lot of grief, this fish. Look at that rod tip. Good fish. But, yeah, good carp. There he is, just lift him in. Straight up, beautiful. He was maybe about 30, 35, but just show him up to you guys. There we go. And he might not be a big one, but it is still a bit of a help to the environment. Getting rid of these, well, considered pests in Australia, because they are introduced, yeah? Introduced species, but yeah, nice fish. Another fish, again on that, again on that. Oh, he's gone in the reeds. Oh, they're all. Yeah, that is a good fish. Look at that. He might snag me, so. Oh, no, I think I'm going to be done. Just got to keep that spool tight. Keep that spool tight. Oh, I think I might have lost it. Got to keep it tight. Oh, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. Oh, he's, always tr he's trying to get me snagged. Yeah, it'd be a miracle if I can get him now. I'm just get always get your rod to pass. Over in the corner. Overlooked that rod. Hang on. It'd be a miracle if I get it. Oh, he's almost got the snag. Walk over. Again. 
Just holding that spool. I'm not gonna, oh, there he is. Okay, we're out, we're out. Yeah, it's good for you. Oh, that, 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 the katana. Grab it, grab it. Oh, you missed him. Oh, well, that's a good fish. Look at that, look at the bend in that rod tip. He's moving, this could be, this is, this, this is number four. Well, Dad's just lost a fish just then. You probably saw that on the camera, I'm not too sure, but yeah, this is a good fish. And as you saw, as he darted over to the reeds, I tried to keep my, keep the rod nice and tight and keep the, keep my hand over the baler, uh, the spool, sorry, so he doesn't run. So what they tend to do is they always try to dart for structure, weeds, um, uh, logs or anything that can, they can uh, get busted off, they, they can bust you off by, sorry. So as you saw then, he went straight for the reeds, but we managed to get him out. But now he's just slowly just swimming, swimming upstream, upstream. So now it's just a bit of a dead battle. But it's what I love about fishing for these fish, you know. So we're probably two minutes from home and we're catching big fish like this. So yeah. And you might see there's a tree log over there. So I'm just gonna try and yeah, he's definitely swimming for that log. Oh. It's a big fish, I reckon. Oh, I think he might be snagged. Oh, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. I got my drag pretty tight. I'm trying, I'm just gonna slowly walk back just to slowly gain on him. And I can feel it, I reckon it's rubbing up against. Oh, he's got me snagged. Are you joking? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <sighs> it's just a matter of, Oh, I was trying to. It's just a matter of letting him do it. Oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Okay, here we go, here we go. Awesome. Oh, yeah, God, that one's going dead. But that was, that was just luck. Oh, that, oh, that was a good fish too. So that was almost a double hookup on carp, which doesn't happen very often, but this is an awesome little fish. Now, I was very lucky. As you saw then, he tried to get, he snapped you? Snapped everything. Wow, that's how strong these fish are. Yeah, so as you saw then, that was just a matter of luck, just a matter of waiting and letting the fish do it. So that was the second time, as I just said, that they try to run you into the snags. So yeah, but this is a good fish. Look at the, look at the bend in that rod. This is like carp and they're doing big bends like that. So, well, that is a good fish. That's a good fish. This could be, this could be the fish of the day. Yeah, he's running for that, running for those reeds over there. So, just got my hand on the spool. Yeah. Look at that. And that's the bait of choice. <laughs> Wonder, Wonder why. why. <laughs> <laughs> just cheap old bread. You don't need anything special for these carp. You don't really need the special rigs with the fluorocarbon and all that. All you need is. Bit of a, we're using what, 1 0 suicides, maybe? Size 1 hooks? Nothing, nothing fancy. And it works, so yeah, as you can see, that is a good fish. I'll just show you that bend in that rod. It's just a matter of just playing the fish in. Don't, don't give it all your stick, just don't, just play. If he wants to, if he wants to run with it, let him run with it, but it's not far he can go because we are in a confined area so that's why you've got to be a little cautious of to where you run or to where you run so but on that Sedona 2500 reel beautiful and I think I'm running what 9 12 pound line 12 pound mono but yeah it's good fish and I don't particularly like using using braid in these waters because it does tend to float um compared to mono, which sinks, but um, yeah. And also, oh, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. And also the birds do tend to, when you've got the bread and all that out, they do tend to um, run into you. Oh, 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 that, that's a good fish. Oh, he's only hooked, he's only hooked by one. It's right, it's right, I'm gonna, let him, here, just grab my rod, grab my rod. I like to go from the mouth, oh. When you tend to lose them. 
I know. <laughs> it's got me. Got him. Got it. Oh, there we go. Painstaking fight, but it was all worth it. Good fish. That would have been maybe, reckon this is the second biggest of the day. We've got one that measured in about 56. You would have seen in the earlier, earlier scene, but that is a good fish. Good common, they call them here. European common carp, which is the most common, as the name suggests, carp that you'll get, but yeah, look, it was just pinned. Just on the start of his face. Oh, got him, Dad. Dad's just getting a few bites over there, so. Missed him, dropped him. Anyway, but we've tend to found out that the reeds just over there, you might see those few, few reeds just sticking out the water. That's where they are, so that's where I caught this beautiful, heavy beast. So, yeah, good fish. And I must admit, oh, he's got a missing a little bit of scale there, but they are very heavy fish, very heavy. But yeah, another one to add to the collection of carp today. So. Thanks for watching this video of Tom's Fishing Adventures. So this is about the biggest carp caught today. It went about 56, 57 centimetres. And literally we planned this trip, what, half an hour before, uh, after school maybe, not even, on the way home from school. So it was a pretty unplanned trip, but yeah, we, it, um, yeah, it's about how long it took and we, it resulted in four of these nice sized fish. So yeah, so make sure to um, like, subscribe, um, Share this video with your mates, um, comment uh, if you like the video and what I should do next. So yeah, um, thanks for that and cheers.